Another day, another quick tip. This time, I want to talk a little bit about audio and the concept of a submix. Um, basically, you have two situations where you use that kind of stuff. I have a logic session here. It's a sound mix I did for one salvo. It's a short film shot on F55, and it actually was shown at NAB at the Sony booth. Um, really nice stuff. And basically, I have lots of dialogue going on. I have nice music from Cedric Conti. I got some nice music stamps. Basically, it's music or instrument groups. Um, I have each of those. And I have a little bit of sound effects like background sound, city, uh, traffic, people, uh, walking, stuff like that. And also I have a little bit of reverb going on for the music. So basically, you do all your basic automation and levels first. Uh, I show you the automation. Um, this is all dialogue stuff. Um, as you can see, I have uh, fade-ins and fade-outs and stuff like that. And dynamic um, volume automation a little bit just to enhance some parts and uh, shrink that down and fade in, fade out, blend them together, stuff like that for all kinds of dialogue. We had like a boom mic and a lavier and I chose the best part. Um, also, I did quite a lot of automation for the music track, sometimes with mouse like here or here with um, the fader with an external controller. Yeah, I set all those basic levels first. Um, even so for the sound effects, um, for the background sounds, I have a fire engine going in the back and I have city noises, <laughs> all kinds of stuff um, going on. And then after I finished all that, the basic levels, so to speak, um, I did go back and made some new faders, in particular three buses going on. Um, bus 25, 10 and 20 um, for sound effects, music and voice. Um, and the idea behind that is uh, for the final mix, just to balance those three elements that are essential um, to make it sound nice, clean and kind of good. One more note, uh, for all the voice tracks I have separate equalizer and compressor settings for each track. Um, depending on woman or man or noisy or not so noisy just to plant that in with the music and the sound effects. Um, also for each and every music stem also equalizer compressor settings and reverb as well. And the reverb, I have three different reverbs going on for like a big recording stage and a small recording room uh, and just a little bit of ambience just to make it sound a little bit more real because it's all MIDI and sample based music. And I did send those to the music group as well. So yeah, it goes all to bus 10. Music stems all to bus 10. Um, all the voice tracks go to bus huh, voice, it's 20. And yeah, basically uh, I set that up and then I have my final automation going on, just balancing all the tracks a little bit and uh, most likely with um, an external device like here, the music you can see um, just a little bit here and there, um, but that makes a difference. Um, yeah, I just play a little bit for you so you have a little idea what's going on um, so you can see what tracks are in those submixes. So here we go. We start with that little part. All together. All I'm trying to say is that I'm not 100% sure we're right for each other. Really? You're gonna do this right here? Right now?
All I'm trying to say is... I knew that you were the only one for me. You know, from the moment I met you, I always knew you were the only one for me. So that's just the reverb for the music. Just a big room, so to speak, and just want to let it sound like a scoring stage. Well, you get the idea um, of that little uh, submix. Um, all these three elements are essential and with just three faders I can control that very easily um, with uh, a controller, with an external device. Just grab all these three faders and balance them as I go. Uh, really nice. Okay, so now that you have seen the concept of a submix, I show you on that project in Audition how you set that kind of stuff up. Even though that's a little bit of a different project, it's just a simple interview edit. I have Ken Flowers here, I have Jamil, the actor for Hero Punk, and a little bit of um, music and. Well, I just want to quickly plant them together, make it sound nice. Now I've got the question before, uh, someone had an interview um, with different um, voice tracks and just want to make it sound nice uh, very quickly. Even though I would recommend um, setting up tracks and equalizer and compressors for each and every single interviewee, yeah, you can get away with just making a submix. And for that, I just choose both um, channels and send them not to the master, rather to a submix, a bus. Um, and I go with mono because uh, it's just a mono track for that. If you have a stereo, uh, you should go for that. And keep in mind, if you want to use a plugin that only supports stereo, that might be an issue. But I know the plugins I will use are going to work with mono. So I just set that up, uh, renamed that. Um, voice over sub. All right, now I'll move that here and I go ahead and send the second one to that bus as well. And there we go. Um, I just quickly um, choose uh, my equalizer. Uh, equalizer is here, equalizer first, because you want to eliminate all the frequencies you don't want to use and don't want to hear so it doesn't affect the dynamics. Um, here we go. And just quickly, just out of my head, <laughs> so to speak, um, setting up a compressor setting. Activate that, maybe not that bad. Um, activate the limiter as well, could be nice. And this plugin has also nice um, warmth effect that's just a little bit to make it sound nicer. And in terms of equalizer, I go ahead and just make that um, yeah, should be good. A little bit low cut just to be safe. Make it a little bit more deeper. Uh, yeah, that's the basic up and down. Um, um, you have like the 50 to 100 uh, frequency area to make it sound deeper, more rich. <laughs> uh, 200 and 500 area is most likely where you get problems with muffled sound. Um, so yeah, you can uh, 
make that a little bit less. And then we have the the 2K to 8K and that makes it yeah sound a little bit nicer and cleaner and more more well the voice gets a little bit better more understandable yeah that's it and well i should check that a little bit and we were sort of sweating bullets at the last minute is one of the things he did is pick the cameras up in a pelican case put them on a plane and then he showed up like an hour more on my plate than john connor's i got you know i've got enclave i got the government i've got these yeah that that is okay for now um basically um kanan is a little bit um less in volume so i pumped that up and i reduced a little bit jamil so basically possible is the same thing and as you can see in audition actually it remembers the voice over submix settings and it solos that um, channel as well that's actually kind of nice so the last step might be just making it sound nice in the end um, i go ahead and choose my ozone 5 always good uh, i go with a preset just now for that one I go with the NAB Max, um, maybe not that intense. I don't want to go into deep in that uh, plugin. That is a little bit complex, but trust me, it sounds nice. And then again, maybe just a little mastering limiter. Uh, well, I go with the smooth uh, setting. Uh, it goes in and increases the level. Um, that's nice. 5 plus is okay. Just to combine all these things together a little bit more. shooting this on the Blackmagic Cinema cameras. Thanks to uh, Jason Diamond and Josh Diamond, you know you know those guys in New York, uh, and also thanks to the, the shooting in RAW, we're shooting in ProRes. My character is Lane, he's leader of the resistance, and maybe like a John Connors, but I got a lot more on my plate than John Connors I got. We've been building 3D backgrounds and building 3D virtual and, uh, you know, the, the, the finishing, uh, and then most of that is just gonna go straight into something right um, and so then the idea yeah that's the basic idea just a little basic levels um, a submix for the interviews just to combine those make them sound a little bit more nicer equalizer is good you can use the built-in equalizer in audition as well that is okay dynamics well yeah i would choose uh, another third party uh, for that because yeah it's a little bit tricky to set those up and then a mastering tool even the built-in um, hard limiter is really good actually and you can also go ahead and choose the multi-band compressor in audition as well um, it's a nice thing you have presets for that and it's also from uh, isotope so yeah that should be good and yeah that's the basic concept of a submix just set those tracks up, send them to a bus or a send, uh, make your adjustments there and then make your basic uh, adjustments in terms of levels on, on those um, tracks um, and then combine those and make your final adjustment. I could also go ahead and make the music to a submix and have just two faders I have to control. But for now, that should be all. If you have any questions about that, just shoot me a message uh, on my blog and I will see that I answer that. Um, anyway, that's it for now. Take care and hear you soon.